Well, Carl Icahn is a name that is liable to strike terror into the minds of any CEO. The latest that he's going after is Netflix, where he's taking a 10% stake. But Netflix aren't the CEO, Reed Hastings, is not taking this lying down. David Benoit is here to join us to talk to us about this and other matters. Um, so yeah, it is a great battle, right? I mean, yeah. uh, uh, tell us a little bit what's happening, because of course there's a poison pill involved here. Right, I think we should probably all settle down for a long, yeah. long protracted fight We love fight those Carl, these Carl Icahn <laughs> fights for that uh, reason. Right, so Carl Icahn came in a couple weeks ago, took a 10% stake. Uh, Journal reports this morning, he, he called up Reed Hastings, the CEO, as you mentioned, of, of Netflix, and kind of said, hey, I'm about to come out and say your shares are undervalued and Netflix should be sold to a larger company. He, uh, Carl, apparently is a, is a Netflix subscriber himself. Oh, good. He, yeah. he admits Does he get it. the full, uh, full subscription or is it just, just the, the streaming? Uh, you know, I don't, you know. don't know. I would assume he can afford yeah, the yeah, full one. Yeah, he could probably one. get the full one. <laughs> <laughs> he likes his uh, History Channel DVDs. Right. <laughs> um, but uh, Carl, Carl thinks it would operate better in a kind of larger company like an Amazon or a Google that kind of has the funds to, mm -hmm. to support it. Uh, Hastings is, is not backing down. Yeah. Uh, as you said, they put up a poison pill. <laughs> Explain uh, how that works. Which, so essentially, uh, Icon has a 10% stake. If you acquire more shares, uh, it essentially makes it impossible. It penalizes you by giving shares to other people. It, it, it triggers, it triggers yes. a, a, a issuance of new shares yes. and therefore diluting the stake yes, and exactly. making it harder to take yeah. over. Right. Um, and they also, Netflix also has a staggered board, which means at the annual meeting, he can't come in and wipe out the entire board by putting mm. up a slate. You can only put up one or two oh, people, which makes it harder to get control of the board, too. Right. Uh, so those are pretty tight uh, defenses Netflix has. And, and kind of uh, Hastings told the journal uh, that, you know, he, he's pretty much going to ignore it. Yeah. Um, they're not going to worry about what, it. What are analysts are saying? Does Icon have a chance up against this? Or how, how effective is this strategy? Uh, I mean, certainly people are a little excited. I think Netflix has had a, a rough cut in a couple years since they tried to change their, their system. They split up the streaming and, mm. and the, the DVD by mail, and certainly the shares have been pounded. Uh, There's a chart there showing that it's getting a little bit of bounce, right. presumably from this. this right, so to, to $80 sounds pretty good, but if you remember, yeah, it was yeah. Ab up above 125 Yeah, right, um, the, the back end of that chart yeah. we're not seeing there, yeah. And that's not all that long yeah. ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but certainly, uh, one, one investor, Whitney Tilson, who's pretty well known, uh, fund manager came out mm. and said he, he wouldn't even be happy with a hundred dollar price target price right now for a sale mm. um, it's certainly a stock that's bounced around a lot people think if it kind of straightened things out Reed Hastings is arguing he needs more time to figure out the streaming they still yeah. dominate streaming right but the, the, but the big issue really is you know they had a model that was based on uh, originally on, on DVD mailing which right. sounded, seemed like a great idea just a few years ago and of course that's now being completely challenged by by streaming and streaming comes up against all sorts of costs they have to face in terms of licensing fees and really monetizing that in an effective way is proving right. a massive that's challenge a, yeah they're, they're having a big time a hard time getting getting the licensing like getting the, the movie theaters right. and, and, and and studios to, to give them the movies on time, and it's certainly competitive.